Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Unsighted. Last time we left off, we made it here to the museum where there is another meteor shard, and I guess we're gonna go ahead and tackle that today. So I should specify, I'm kind of bum-rushing stuff here, like, it's telling me to go here, I didn't really waste a lot of time and kind of just came here. Depending on how much time we have left at the end, I would like to just completely re-explore the map again, assuming I have a surplus of meteor dust. And, um, just kind of see if maybe we missed anything, get some of the stuff we didn't get and all that. But I want to finish my objectives and then see how much time I have left first. It's still hard to wrap my head around all the events of the war. I was designed to safeguard humans, but when I finally had the power to act for myself, it was humans that I had to battle. Nonetheless, I'll safeguard the automatons around this region. They... they deserve to live as much as the humans who created us. That they do. Alright, so we can't go that way. That's some meteor dust, though. Maybe we'll get bombs here? We got a new ability in the last area, too, so... Um... that leads up to the second floor. I don't think we'll go there yet. This place is very dark, by the way. Hi, guys. Oh. You were behind something. Kablooey. I imagine the game's only gonna get easier, too, because it said you could tackle, um, like, bosses and stuff in any order. So if you could tackle them in any order, they have to prepare for the fact that someone may go to, like, the level 5 one first. Um, so that boss can't be too terribly hard if they go there with, like, starting equipment, so... I don't think I can get up there. Yeah, I don't think I can jump high enough. Oh well. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, no. Just knocking them off is super easy. Snooker? I don't know what that means. Maybe it's for knocking a certain amount of enemies just off the map. Uh, reload. I want to kill the, like, ninja guy. And then maybe I'll run in with this on you. That didn't seem like it did a lot of damage to you, actually. Oh, I missed. That would be why. <laughs> Rip. Alright. Uh, lights. Thank you. Hey, look! This platform's disappeared when you turned on the lights. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. I imagine there's some times where I want the platforms and sometimes where I don't. Huh. Okay, what is the point of this? This I do not know. Is it just to get up here? Uh, no. Go away, please. Thank you. And jump. Whoop. Jump. Okay, so this is just for moving me across here. Uh huh. Um. Is that. Oh, I need. I need something. This. Yeah. Alright. Push this over here, and I guess I'm gonna have to go back and do that puzzle again. Which is a bit unfortunate. We do that series of jumps again, not the puzzle. Wasn't really a puzzle. That's not the worst. I like the music in here. It's quite nice. The music in the uh, boss fight that we did in the past was really cool too, but... It was kind of hard to focus on the music when, uh... Where am I? Oh! Really? I fell to the basement? Interesting. Okay. I didn't even know that was an option. Well... Oh, hi. Museum Water Reservoir. Hey there, how's your fishing going? Found anything? Saw you some of the trash. Goodbye. I'll fish with you for a second. Can maybe use another cog or something. Uh-huh. Gotta be quick on the draw. Expect it to be this one? No, the next one then. Gotcha! Medium lump bolts. Contains a hundred. Thank you for that. Okay, so we should probably take the elevator up immediately, right? Should I really explore all of this? Oh, I missed. Okay, we gotta leave. Oh, no. Whew. Okay. Dead. Battle axe and gun is such a cool combo. I love it. 
Okay, that's the elevator that we take up. Or stairs, or whatever they are. Okay, we can't go that way. Um, can I not get up here? I cannot. Is there anything I could push over there? Doesn't seem like it. Huh. Color me confused then on how to get that. Yeah, because that just doesn't work. Okay. I'll leave it here, but I will add a marker for myself. Because uh, I haven't been doing that, so... That reminds me, I should have added a marker to that other area. Um, over here, wasn't it? Which one? Or no, it was right here. Yeah, it was here. This giant room. There was one treasure chest I didn't get. So, I'll add a little pin there. Maybe come back to it later. <clears throat> Alright, so we need to try and make that jump again. Wait, was that the second floor I was on? No, it was, it was right here. Okay. Cool. Boom. Get over here if you want to eat. Come with me if you want to eat. There we go. Jump. And jump. Whoa! Damn it! I was confused by the perspective. I was confused by the perspective, and I was like, I need think I need to adjust a little bit to land on it, but no. I didn't need to adjust at all, I just needed to jump straight to the right. Damn it. Perspective's messing with me, it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, just jump. Thank you. And jump. Thank you. What was that? A drifter. Reloads users' guns with melee attacks. Now... That might actually be one that I want to use. That sounds really good, actually. I could have gotten that thing, but I screwed it up. Oh well. That sounds really, really nice. Um, especially if I put, like, the sword on, that, like, default sword that I got instead of the battle axe, because it attacks faster. Uh, because this... Yeah, let's do that, actually. Iron Edge. Let's put you on. Wait, what if I put nothing? What happens? Does she punch? Bare hands. It's gonna be hard to fight without a weapon. But punching's so cool! Oh. I was expecting, like, a punching moveset. But no. Be hard to fight with your bare hands. I'm still an automaton. Those hands are hard, you know. Okay, there's something over there. Can I sure can it? Maybe. Uh, this might work. Huh? This might actually do it here. I don't know if this is what they intend, but, uh... Oh, it's a combination? It must be a combination, and I did it wrong. Okay, so we'll just... come back. Some other time. Hey, look! From here we can see that room just below us. Yeah, and I can fall in there and get to that place. Cool. What a neat mechanic. I like that, actually. It's pretty cool. Uh... I missed most of those shots, but we're good now. Here we go. I usually favor speed in these kinds of games, so, uh... I'm fine with switching back to the Iron Edge and just using this, mostly. Attack cog. Collect the bolts from it? Sure. That is... 263. Not horrible. Goodbye. This is, uh, like, uh, in 2D Zeldas, they had the same kind of mechanic. The correct order will be revealed to those only who do not fear the night. Well, it's currently dark, so... Hey, look! Uh, they look like those platforms from before. They do. Do not fear the night. Well, I don't fear the night. The lights are currently off. Right? There, uh, no, maybe, yeah, no, I turned the lights on. We still have this little glow around us, but the lights are on. There we go. There we go. Cool. So we just gotta go back up and drop down again. 
This is gonna be a very big dungeon, I think. But this thing kind of goes and goes. Uh, jump. Jump. Okay, so... I'm gonna need to take a picture of this. Dog, can you move, please? The dog is standing on some of them. Alright, let me just grab a picture on my phone really quickly. Make this nice and easy. Yep. There we go. And good stuff. It's the second time I've had to take a picture like that for uh, this game. Bless modern technology. Alright, so boom, boom. Imagine doing a LP in like the like the nineties or something. You have to get a disposable camera for this shit. Of course, uh YouTube sucked. Um and just video hosting in general was really shitty then. I remember YouTube used to you had to be limited to ten minute videos, which sucked. Luckily that's no longer the case. Ah, that was for a key. Nito. Alright, so jump down there. I don't think there's anywhere else for me to really go here, so let's just progress. And, yeah. Those blocks come and go, depending. At the head will be revealed to those who venture into the dark abyss. What? Uh... So you're saying over here, right? Venture into the dark abyss. What do you mean? Uh... Oh, that was a key door. Yeah, I forgot I do have a key. Um... Yeah, I guess we can go over here. Where does this go exactly? Down? So... Yeah, that just takes me down there. Okay. Yeah, that's where I came out that one time. I'm trying to get a mental map working in my head here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Got it. Can you not, please? And say you did. Uh. Gimme, gimme. Here you go, bud. Uh, so I need to get that thing up there. But. Aha! Oh, that's what it means by the path ahead will be revealed. Yep, okay. Hey, look! From here we can see the room just below us. Yeah, you've said that before. We know. Um... Hmm. How am I gonna get in here, though, if it's dark? Oh, I come up from the basement. Gotcha. So... Bluey. Go over here. And... Take this. And then we go over here. Jump down. Oh, wait. I might have screwed that up. I did screw that up. <laughs> Oopsie. I wanted to walk all the way to the other side on that floor. I think. Oh, wait, no. What happens if I fall down here? Oh, jeez. Bad things. I'm trying to get back to the basement, which is falling down again from here, so... I guess we just do like uh, Iris said there. That's why it was pointed out to me, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. That's probably how I got down here in the first place, anyway. I wonder if I fall in a particular spot, if that's how I land on that thing. I wonder. Falling in a very, very specific spot, and you land on that? Maybe. Let's see, what could it possibly be? Uh, is that it? No. Hmm. I'm thinking that's probably how you have to handle it, though. But whatever. We'll we'll worry about that later. I've got other stuff to do. Oh, and I, sc I screwed it up anyway. Because I went over here trying to investigate this. Alright, let's just fall here and see what happens. Okay, no, we always fall in the same spot. So, yeah. Or we always appear in the same spot, so I must be wrong there. Unless there's just, like, a hyper-specific spot that you actually have to fall in. So, I'm trying to open my 
There we go. My timer back up to see how long I've been recording. All right, so the night. We are here, it is nighttime. You fail at shooting me. Can I go over here and grab this thing? Uh-huh. Nope, not hitting me. Noid. Here we are. Goodbye. There was nothing else in here, I don't believe. Hello. Give me your goodies. Ooh, hi. I didn't even mean to do that, but thank you. I was just kind of rubbing my face against the edges of everything. Machinery room. Wow. Okay, so... W w whoa, that's another one of those things already. So we know how to get to that place. Already. Rusty old door. Although it looks like it's about to crumble, none of your current weapons seem to have any effect. Okay, so we probably need a bomb or something? I imagine. Alright, good to know. Good to know that that area is that close. Die, die. Yeah, I need to upgrade my sword if I'm gonna be using it again. Oh god! And see you guys. Uh. Yep. Can't catch me! I'm too fast. Aha! Uh, off the cliff with you. Bang, bang. Alright, so I can turn this back on, and we won't have access to these platforms if I do that. So, let's not do that. Alright, nighttime, show me your wonders. Oh shit, I probably didn't want to fall there, did I? Uh-huh. There we go. Alright, treasure chest right there. Probably has a key in it if I had to guess. Yeah, now we can turn this on and kind of see what's going on here. How do we get down there? I can't even begin to know. Um, hmm. It's another key door. I would like to get... I guess this is how we do this? So let's move you over here. Move you, like, right there. Right? Oh, seriously? How are we doing on time? Then I'll tell you if you can have a nap or not. BB-42 is not looking good. Teresa is not looking good. Yeah, we gotta go drop some meteor dust off for people. Oh, because my damn dog needs a nap. How dare he? Alright. Um, go ahead and hit that. And... Huh. And huh. Gotcha. So, this just needed to be dropped over here. I don't need that. Alright. What you got? Is it a key? It is. It is a key. Cool. And what does this allow me to access over here, possibly? Oh god. I rolled right off. Nothing really, I suppose. Can I move this around? No. Oh, come on! Shut up! You gotta eat, you gotta sleep! Jeez. Remind me why I have this dog again. Because it's very good in combat and it's very cute, is the answer. Alright. Let's keep walking. Through this door. Would be cool if we could beat another boss this episode. But I'm imagining the dungeon's gonna be way too long for that. Uh, I don't like that guy at the back. I don't like the look of him. He looks like he's gonna cast some bullshit at me just like that. Hi. Uh huh. Here we go. Oh, there's more. There you don't. Easy peasy. Oh, more, huh? There you 
you don't. There you go. Dead Zo. Yeah, as, as long as you get this active reloading down, the gun is just busted. It's so good. What's that? Spinner. Press A in the air to start riding the spinner. No way, it's the spinner from Twilight Princess, really? <laughs> Ooh, I've seen this thing before, it's the spinner. It's strong enough to break those rocks just by bumping in into them. Awesome. And you can ride on those electric rails with it. Oh my god, it's this the spinner from Twilight Princess, I love it. Press A in the air to start riding the spinner. It is! Oh, so cool. I love it. Awesome. That is that is so cool. I love that. It was such a cool idea for an item in Twilight Princess, but you, like, hardly get to use it for anything cool. So it was a little disappointing in that regard. Alright. Uh, let's get on it. Sorry, I didn't mean even, to even do that. Alright. Luna's diary. The human Zephyrina trusted me with the shard of the meteor. It was not hers to give, and yet I took it as a token of trust. Her fear of the tower has rubbed onto me as well, as they cling to the last moments of their existence like vermin on a rotten body. The age of humankind is gone, but they are willing to take it all down with them. Uh-huh. Alrighty. Map of Arcadia. What is going on here? Is this a place? I feel this seems like such a climactic place. Come on, it has to be in the treasure album, right? Mm, oh, that's one of the places, though. Shit, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Okay. Um. Yeah, we totally walked right past that. Okay, it's right by an elevator going up. It looked like these are all going down. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Alright, let it go! Cool. Also, if you're having trouble, remember that you don't need to worry about grinding over the edges when- uh, falling over the edges when grinding. These blocks will make your spinner bounce and prevent them from falling off the track. Oh, okay, cool. That's nice. What are you? Is this restoring power to the whole place or something, or what is this doing? Oh, that's one half of the door that I need to unlock. Okay. Cool. So now I just gotta go get the other half. Yeah, I was wondering why I had seemingly made a lot of progress in this dungeon, but hadn't been to the other side of it yet. That explains it. Bluey. Alright, so yeah, I need to find myself an elevator. Specifically one that leads down. Oh yeah, there's still this thing over here. How do I do you? There's a rail down there. But how do I access it? It must be over there somewhere, right? Because I- whoop! I want that meteor dust. I want it real bad. Uh, okay, let's hit this again. Ah, there it is. Yep. I didn't notice it before. I didn't know it, was, know it was something I was supposed to be paying attention to, so... Oh, God. I was supposed to stop. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, get off of it. How do I... How do I... Shit! How do I get off of it? <laughs> I forgot how to get off of it. If it told me. I'm pretty sure it did, though. Alright, so there's some more meteor dust for me. Okay, here's an elevator that leads down. There's also one over here. It says... Oh, up there. Yeah, I don't think that's the one. Alright, no, I need an elevator that leads up, right? Let's refer to the um, image again. Yeah, it's one of the ones that goes up. Specifically. Okay, it's not that one. Might be one of the ones up here. I want to grab these bolts if I can. 
A rusty bunch of bolts. Uh, there is one over here. Is this the one? Nope, it is not. Uh, so it must be that one on the right side, or maybe it's one we haven't even seen yet. Because the one in the basement, I don't think had uh, a display case beside of it. It's kind of in a room all its own, so I don't think it's that one. Yeah, it's kind of one on the left side of a room, it looks like. So it probably is that one. Over there. Let's get over there and see. I do love me some, uh, bolts. Alright, back to the main room. Ah, oh, come on. There you go. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, cool. So where's the spot? Go away. Where was it? I'm trying just to guess, and that's not working out, so let's actually refer to the image one last time. Right there. No, go away, dog. Dog, go away. There we go. <laughs> the dog kept getting in my way. Oh my god. Cool. We have 4,500 bolts now. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff. Uh, we'll keep going for a little bit longer. I'd say that greed uh, thing is working out for me. Aha, I can get you now. Okay, it was... Well, B gets off of it. I don't know if it's the way to get off of it, but if I try to parry, it does let me off. Okay, so let's go hit up the terminal now. Um, let's go back to here. And see what we can do at this place. Uh, I also need to give... Um, give Meteor Dust to Iris? I probably should. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? I mean, don't you need it more than I? Thanks, Alma. I guess I'll stay around a little bit more. No, I need you. You're like my voice in this game. It would be kind of weird without you here, all, in all honesty. Well, you're not my voice because Alma does actually speak, but... Since you've been so nice to me, dear, I'll give you some discounts. Uh, here you go. Oh, sweetie pie, you're so nice. I hope all me can still be useful for you. I'm sure you will, lady. How do I get across there? Can you glide on water with this? Nope. <laughs> well, that was very quickly answered. Alright. Um, I don't think I need any cogs from you, lady. I'm mostly just keeping you alive because I want to save everyone. I want to do it, damn it. Can you sell something useful? You have 127 hours left. Um... I thought you had, like, something really good. A key. Yeah. That's what you got. Alright. Well, what's in here? Yeah, we can talk to you. You don't need anything for sure. Um. You. That's probably a crafting table, but you can use it anywhere. And you probably get it for keeping her alive the max amount of time. Hi there, Alma. Bzz. Do you want me to upgrade your weapons? Give me your dust. Give me a discount. Oh, is this for me? Bzz. Thank you so much. Bzz. I can keep helping Olga in the village for much longer. You're welcome. You've been a good friend to me and Olga, so I'll lower prices just for you. Yay! Okay, cool. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna upgrade the Iron Edge. Also, I realize the blaster isn't actually increasing in damage, it's just how much ammo it has in it. So, that is something to note. I do think I want to upgrade that again, though. So, if you would so kindly. The Iron Edge is uh, doing me pretty well so far. Uh, you know what? More. Pile it on. There we go. And... Do I have enough to upgrade the gun? Yeah, one more time. I want to have 12 bullets. I don't like looking at that odd number. Now that it's now that I've seen it, I don't want it there. Cool. Well, there we go. All right, we made a lot of progress this episode, but I think we're going to go ahead and end this one off here. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time. <laughs>